Welcome to Glenrose ISD PD1 and PD2 orientation. My name is Courtney Cordova and I'm a counselor at Glenrose Junior High. I will be helping place you in the in the classrooms this year for PD1 and PD2. Um, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please call me at 254-898-3705 or you can email me at the email address provided. Our district website is www.grisd.net. Um, I've provided that link and another link to our, our school calendar. And um, so I'm going to quickly go to our website and show you a little bit about how to maneuver here. Um, here's our district website. Under campuses, there's a drop down, and there are all of our campuses are listed there. Um, they also have an athletic page and our new high school. We don't have a new high school, we have a new high school web page. Um, important resources for you if you go to parent resources, the district directory is this first item on the menu, and you can find any teacher, principal, diagnostician, you name it, they are there with their phone number and their email address. Um, another thing that's really important is the school calendar. I'm going to go ahead and open that up for you. It's going to be a PDF and it will show you all of the days this semester that we are here at school. Um, you'll notice that um, in blue, that's spring break. Those are days that we are completely closed. There's no students or teachers here. The days in yellow with the teacher observation don't have our school calendar. I'm going to go back here to the presentation real fast and, uh, and go on. Um, a little bit about Glenrose ISD. Our mission statement is here and I, I don't want to read it word for word for you but definitely um, we do work with our community and we want to foster a learning environment that children feel safe and they feel pushed to really make an impact on the world and live together in harmony with all the people of our of our world. And so it's definitely one of our, that's our main goal. Um, it's not necessarily to pass those star tests and to, in, and to make the top scores, but to be able to live and work um, and integrate within the world that we live in. We are a one-to-one -one, um, MacBook district. All of our students from 6th grade to 12th grade have a MacBook checked out to them personally and they use it at school and at home. They will keep this MacBook throughout the entire year, check it in the summer, get it back in the, in the fall. And um, All of our students from pre-K on up to 5th grade have a, either a MacBook or an iPad at, at school. It's checked out to them at school, but they don't get to bring it home. But they do have access to these devices every day. Um, in a one-to-one -one ratio. So our students are getting cutting-edge technology. They're learning to use apps and, um, and platforms that will help them live in this 21st century world of technology. We do, our, popu our population, I'm sorry, our um, student body is at 1744 right now at the last snapshot date. However, it is growing each, each day actually and um, our student to teacher ratio at this point is 12.7 to 1. That being said, we are still a very small school district and we we do the best we can to uh, to accommodate all of the Tarleton students who want to come over here. So please keep that in mind when you get your placement that you may get, uh, you, you'll get within the the field that you need, but it may not be your first choice um, of a subject or um, a day or um, time. So make sure that you're flexible with that. Okay. Um, one thing about Glenrose that we're very proud of is our tradition and, and the excellence that we've achieved. And I've just listed here some of the things that that our students have been really successful in. Um, if you keep up much with high school sports this year, our, our girls, our girls volleyball team uh, was amazing. They made it to the state championship game. Um, they also, our, our girls basketball team is doing amazing right now. Our Tiger football team had a really good season, um, two losses to the year. So um, we do have strong athletic programs and a tradition for that. And our academic UIL program, our one act play, our band and our choir, they're all, and um, they have a history of excellence and so we're very proud of our programs and the thing that makes Glenrose kind of stand out is that our community rallies around behind them all and that you will notice when you when you work here in our school for just a small amount of time this semester you will see the pride that our teachers and our staff and our students our parents have in our school district and that's something that we would like to share with you guys and um, we do have four campuses our, our elementary school is grades 
pre-K through second, and you can see here that the contact information for Mrs. Morris, the principal. Intermediate school is from third to fifth grade. Um, our principal is Lori Mapes, and her contact information is, is right here as well. Um, our junior high school is um, sixth grade through eighth grade, and our principal, Vicki Goebel, is she is a new principal here for us, and we really have had a good year, and this is the campus that I work on. So if you're on the junior high campus, I'll probably get to know you a little bit. Those of you that are on the other three campuses, I'm, I'm, we'll talk to you um, to get you placed, and I will probably never see you again. So um, those of you that come to the junior high, I welcome you here. It's a great school. Um, and then the last school, a GRHS, um, is ninth grade through the 12th grade, and we have um, a great principal, Kelly Shackelford. He, he is in his second year as principal and he's a, a great contact to have for you guys. Um, three of those campuses are located in the same area. The junior high school is the oldest campus in, in Glen Rose ISD and it's on another area so we, you'll find it no problems. As far as the timeline for our placements, um, y'all start school January 16th. That first week of school you will hear something from me. I will email you and your Charleston email address who your teacher is, what their contact information is, and then you will have to take that upon yourself to call and set up your times. They know basically when you can come, what days are best for you, and but they know their schedule better than any of the principals do, so they will be um, your your point of contact. Okay, and um, you'll be able to start in your classrooms January 22nd to 26th. Again, flexibility is really important. I will do the best I can to, to meet your needs. Um, just keep that in mind when you get your placements. And if you haven't heard from me by January 19th, please um, be patient. You can you feel free to call me um, or email me, and I, I won't. I haven't forgotten any of you. I won't forget any of you. But sometimes it takes a little longer for sp specific classes. As far as what we expect of you here in Glen Rose ISD, the first most important thing is attendance. Okay, we, as a teacher, you you have to be at school, and that's one thing that you will have to learn. You can't just call in when you feel like it, and you'll learn as you start teaching that getting a substitute teacher is more work than just coming to work on your own. So it's always important to, to have good attendance. Um, our faculty on our campuses are here from 7.45 a.m. until 3.35 p.m. daily and usually a lot earlier and a lot later than that, but those are their reporting times. And your mentor teacher will let you know exactly what time you need to come to campus. If you must, that should say miss, I apologize. If you must miss your scheduled time, please notify your mentor teacher. Okay, keep their number in your contact so you can call him or her and let, let them know that you're going to be late or you're going to be absent. Okay. Always, when you get to the school, check into the front office. There's going to be a, a, a computer in the front desk, and you're going to have to check in. Um, you'll have to print a badge take, or take a picture, print a badge, and wear this badge while you're on campus. So you will have your Tarleton ID, but you'll also have a, a sticker that you put on your shirt that has your picture and your name on there. And um, Also, when you leave, you have to check out. Okay, so make sure that you stop by the office and check out on the computer as well. Other things as far as safety for our students, make sure you park in the visitor parking lots. Um, intermediate, elementary, junior high, our students don't drive, so there's very obvious where to park in those schools. Um, the high school parking lot, obviously students do drive to school. So when you first come down Stadium Drive, when you turn off of Highway 67, you'll see this parking lot full of cars. Those are the students. Go down, pa go down past that and you will park to the in the front of the, of the high school, right across the street from the football stadium. Um, that's where the visitor parking lot is for you guys, okay? Enter the building, each building that you go to, each of these campuses from the main entrance. The rest of the doors are locked, and those doors are actually locked all day. And um, you'll have to ring a doorbell, and then once they see that you're a Tarleton student because you're wearing your nice little badge, they will let you in. They'll buzz the door, and you'll be able to go inside. So make sure that you always have your, I, your TSU ID. And finally, um, professionals and what we expect of y'all as as professionals. Um, first, always be on time and call if you're going to be late or absent. Please dress appropriately. Um, business casual is, is appropriate Monday through Thursday. If you are in in a kindergarten classroom, you may dress differently because you may be sitting on the floor playing with with toys with kids and and doing things that are more hands on and dirty. And if you're in an art class, then you might want you know just you talk to the teacher about how to dress appropriately for those classes. And um, we do do spirit days on Friday. And it's khaki pants um, or a polo for you guys if you want to wear a Glen Rose polo or a, a Tarleton polo and and 
advertise your school, that would be wonderful. Okay. As far as cell phones, please make sure that they are not a distraction. They need to be in your purse, your backpack, your pocket, your car, whatever, um, and make sure that they are silent so that they are not a distraction to you and our students don't see that. Um, if you need to take pictures of a student or student work for a project, make sure you check with that student's teacher um, and that teacher will check the acceptable use policy list to see if those kids are able to have their work published or have their their picture on the internet or their their name even on the internet so make sure that you check before you do anything like that and um, we do most of our students are, are allowed to do that but there are some on each campus whose parents will not allow that so please check um, make sure that you maintain appropriate relationships with students and staff. That means when you're in the in the workroom with your mentor teacher or you're between classes, don't don't talk about other teachers. Don't talk about students. Um, make sure that you're professional in your in your speech and your language and in the way you approach um, this profession. Um, and and just remember that you are you know, you're, some of you may not be much older than some of the students at the high school. Definitely remember that you are the adult in these in these relationships and these tutoring and mentoring relationships so make sure that you don't cross that line and and not that you would but sometimes our, our students think that we want to befriend them and we're, we're not here to be their friends we're here to be their mentors and their teachers um, and finally remember that you represent Tarleton State University and many of our students from Glen Rose will be going there in their future and we have a, a large percentage of our students every year that go to Tarleton and they're very they're very excited to go there and so we definitely would ask that you set an example for them about what a Tarleton student looks like and what, how they behave and in the future that you have ahead of you. We are very happy to have you come to, to Glen Rose ISD and we um, will do whatever we can to make your experience a good one. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.